let's get into the Marvels, the long-awaited next installment in the MCU. Right. So we're gonna have two, so we're gonna have two sections of this review, Pete. We're gonna have a non-spoiler alert section. We're gonna talk about that right now, and then we'll go into some spoiler alerts for those that want to hear some exciting stuff about the film. So first, sure. give me your non-spoiler alert review. Yeah, it's always it's always good to, to get the agenda right when we're when we're doing stuff. So that's perfect. Yes. Uh, so the Marvels. Let's get this out of the way right away. I mean. You should absolutely go and see this film because it's part of the MCU universe, right? Yeah. Is that even, did I even say MCU universe? And uh, you can just say the Marvel universe. Yeah, the Marvel universe. Say out loud. Um, yeah. You have to kind of stay a part of this journey. Um, I personally feel with this movie like I... I didn't really quite understand what was going on. And I I was somebody that that did a deep dive a year ago into everything MCU. And I just like, I went into it. Um, I don't know anything about the comic books. I just said, you know what? I'm going to get into this, um, even though I was already kind of invested in it. And I was so pumped. And then Endgame happened. And then after Endgame, I've just been on this perpetual state of like, Man, I just I'm waiting for something magical to happen. And each time I go and see a film, even if it's good, um, like Ant Man was good, um, Galaxies Three was good. Um, I'm just not blown away by anything so yeah. far. And this yeah. one is is certainly a part of that um, is a part of that group as well. Um, Let's see, without spoiling, this this movie took an idea of hey, well, what talk, if, go ahead. You could talk about the plot a little bit. Just yeah. don't we'll, well, we'll have a section where we'll talk about some spoiler alerts, but therein lies the issue for me because I feel like, especially with like the trailers, and then when you start watching this film, they came at you with this idea of well, what if whenever these Marvel girls use their powers, they switch places. And somebody said, that's a great idea. Let's do that. Yeah. Um, and then that's kind of all they had. Like they didn't, there was nothing, there was not a, a progressive sort of story that sort of kept me engaged and wanted me to continue forward. I mean, you told me something about the ending of the film um, about one of the, 19 different end credit scenes that marvel puts in their things which i apparently miss every time yeah um, that is absolutely vital however you know i would make the argument just give me that piece of information save me two hours of time <laughs> yeah because that would have I, I would have been just as excited about that end credit scene if yeah. you would have told me that versus me going through no story for two hours. Yeah, for sure. I, I think this movie, I think there's some things that this movie did right. And I think there's just some things where this movie just, like you're saying, just kind of goes in pace with the rest of this whole MCU, uh, this this whole new phase, right? I think we're in technically phase five now. Um, but I I think the biggest issue that the all these movies are are running into is the fact that we haven't had an Avengers film yet. And that's what kind of like motivated us to keep watching these, like the first go around. Remember in the remember in the first phase, there was only four, four or five of these standalone movies, and then it was we saw the Avengers, right? And we were all looking forward to the Avengers because we'd never seen something like that before. And that's that was kind of like the juice that kept everything exactly there was always like one movie maybe two in between something that kind of linked everything together even though they were all yeah connected, there was always like one maybe two movies that sort of kind of kept the 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 whole entire yeah uh, you know the, the whole tentpole of the whole thing yeah kind of moving forward right now the mcu seems scattered it and seems, it seems, it seems like scattered. it doesn't have I think that they have got, look, here's what we're doing in phase six and seven. However, this phase five, if you can just kind of hold on tight and just get through it, 
it will pay off in the end. But I, I, you're not building my confidence up fairly high right now. I'll be honest. Yeah, for sure, for sure. 